Ulisse Clote Oliguilu Nguema is a Gabonese general serving as a transition president of Gabon, chairman of the Committee for the Transition and Restoration of Institutions, and the commander in chief of the Gabonese Republican Guard. He is believed to have played a key part in the 2023 Gabonese coup d'etat for throwing his cousin at Bongo. He is also known to be a multimillionaire involved in an embezzlement affair and having links to the drug cycles of the South American Ivorian Hatteurs. He was born in Haute Ogoe province, Gabon. He is related to the family of former President Omar Bongo and studied at Omar Bongo Rasti. Ogoe studied at Magnes Royal Military Academy in Morocco. He served as an aide de camp to President Omar Bongo until his day in 2009. He then served as a military attache at the Gabonese embassies in Morocco and Senegal. In October 2018, he was recalled to Gabon where he replaced Colonel Frederick Bongo at the head of the intelligence service of the Republican Guard, the Directorate General of Special Services. In 2021, he notably restarted Operation Mamba. He took over the head of the Gabonese Republican Guard in April 2020, replacing General Rigol Kona, a cousin of then President Ali Bongo Odimba. significantly reformed the special intervention session, a special unit placed under the direct authority of the president, increasing it from around 30 to more than 300 elements. He also composed a song which included the line, I would defend my president with honor and royalty. According to a 2020 organized crime and corruption reporting project investigation, he owns several properties in the United States worth more than US dollar one million and also helped expand the bongos overseas businesses asked about his dealings he said they were private affair Following the 2023 Gabonese coup d'etat which overthrew President Ali Bongo, the Committee for the Transition and Restoration of Institutions named Oli Gwil as the Italian President of Gabon in an announcement aired on state television. He was later seen on the shoulders of jubilant army personnel calling him the President. In an interview with Romond later in the day, he refer referred to Bongo as retired but said he was not yet assuming the presidency pending the liberations with other officers later in the afternoon. He also said that the military had staged the coup due to the discontent that had been growing in the country since Bongo's stroke in 2018. His decision to run for a third term disregarding of the country's constitution and the conduct of the election. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and also turn on bell icon to receive notifications.